Hello, welcome. Welcome to my favorite place on earth. Well, backstage of my favorite place on earth. It's the Up to Hill Theater here at APT. Thanks for being with us and thank you for being with us this entire last year. The last time I was here was May of last year when we had to announce that the 2020 season would be canceled. And I think it may have been the hardest day for all of us here at APT ever. And um, you were here through that and you continue to support us, watched us online, sent us gifts. Your generosity was overwhelming. Your support, you sent cookies and, and emails and, and that's why we are able to be here today. Um, in good faith, we are here because you asked us to keep going and to make sure we came back stronger to do plays on this hill. And here we are. So today I get to announce what plays we're doing. But before I do that, I really want to make sure I say thank you to someone else, many other people. We often talk about APT being a great place to work. We talk about the family that is APT. And I need to take this opportunity to say thank you to our staff and our company and our APT community of everyone from the board, board to our senior staff to our uh, ground crew that worked through the winter to make sure that the trees would steep the hill high when we came back. I want to make sure that I say thank you to all of them because the faith that everyone had in each other to make good choices and be creative and we were tenacious and we were we were really hard on one another at times and we really forgave each other. But we are all after the same thing, which was to be able to come today and say, we're gonna do plays outside, alive, for the live theater, for all of you, and here we are. So here we are and I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best, you're the best place to work. Um, so without further ado, no wait, wait, I have something else I need to say. Everything's gonna be a little different. I mean, if we aren't used to that through the pandemic, what, do, what, do we, what have we learned? Um, and in that, a lot of opportunities come out of this because as we've had to shift our thinking in order to make sure we do play safely, we've had to um, be creative. And sometimes the answer was the best answer we could have imagined because of the problem. So here we are. And I know that when we announce how we're gonna do the plays and how, how the audiences will be distanced and masked, all of that is because we wanna make sure we're safe and, and we all can continue to be together in order to do our work. So without further ado, this season, this summer season, of six plays will be done in the Touchstone and up the hill. In the fall, we'll announce another season that will include the fall and the winter. But the six plays that we're announcing for our summer season will start in the Touchstone. And the first play that we're doing, and this is a brilliant, brilliant opportunity for us, we're starting the season with The Mountaintop by Katori Hall. The Mountaintop is a story about Martin Luther King the night before he was assassinated, and I I think this play is more relevant than ever uh, as we approach the 53rd anniversary of Dr. King's assassination. And I think his vision and, uh, yes, dare I say, his dream of having a more humane America is, is actually within our grasp. And if we just keep moving forward and us sharing this play with you, our audience, about Dr. King's journey is one small step in that direction. And I think it will make a difference. I think it has to. So that's The Mountaintop. It has Gavin Lawrence as Dr. King, Shola Thompson as KMA, his visitor, and it's directed by Ron O.J. Parson, who directed Fences for us and Blood Knot. We're so excited to have him back. So I hope you'll join us. The first play up the hill this season, it, again, the gift of the pandemic, is to do something we've never done before, and we're doing an original piece, a world premiere of a play called An Improbable Fiction by James DeVita. And some of you may have seen it, we presented it on our PBS series of Out of the Woods last summer. It's gone through some rewrites and we're going to be doing it on the hill this summer. It is a story about friendship. It's a story about the pandemic. And he wrote it, I was talking to him about it, and he wrote it because he didn't know what else to write. And his favorite people in a bar happened to be Shakespearean characters. <laughs> so Brian Monty as Falstaff, Tracy Arnold as Cleopatra, Sarah Day as Quickly, Melissa Pereira as Juliet and Chike Johnson as Othello, all the roles that they've played before and a mystery guest I'm not gonna tell you about. But it really is a beautiful, witty, funny, moving piece about what it means to be friends and what it means to have to rely on each other during something so difficult. It's 80% Shakespeare. 
I mean, our 90% Shakespeare just kind of reimagined those lines in other people's mouths. So we're really excited about it. It's perfect. It was written for our actors in mind and our space in mind, and we're so excited about you being able to be the first to see it. So that's an improbable fiction up the hill. The next play indoors is An Iliad by Dennis O'Hare and Lisa Peterson. It's a play that we did a few years ago. Um, John Langs directed Jim DeVita as the poet and Alicia Storn as the cellist. And if you remember or you got to see that play, um, you'll remember that it really is a play about what it is to be a human being and how we treat each other in distress, when we're in crisis, how we behave and who we are. And sadly, the story never seems to get old. It's kind of tragically relevant continually. It's a story of Homer, story of Troy, and it is um, exciting and lyrical and the poetry itself is so exquisite that it actually holds up storytelling in a way that it shows how powerful it can be as a healer. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous night of theater. Please join us. Um, up the hill, we're finally getting to do a play that we want to do. What seems like for three years we wanted to do this play. It's called Rough Crossing by Tom Stoppard, directed by Bill Brown. And if we're going to talk about wheelhouses, I think this play is totally in Bill Brown's wheelhouse. He has an incredible cast of comedians. Um, Marcus Straczynski and Kelsey Brennan and uh, Jim Ridge and, and David Daniel. And we have two people in the cast that you are all familiar with now. They played the leads in She Stoops to Conquer a couple years ago, Josh Krause and Jamal James. And they are perfectly cast in this zany, witty, wordy, musical comedy. And we can't wait for you to come see it. So that's J Tom Stoppard's Rough Crossing. And next, indoors, in our final show indoors, it's called A Phoenix Too Frequent by Christopher Fry. Now this is a play that we've had in our pocket for a while. We've always known we should do this play. It's a small Greek satire. <laughs> and it's perfectly, perfectly suited to the language skills of our company. So we are so excited to be having this opportunity to share it with you. It's going to be directed by Kira Fromm, if you remember. She did that brilliant Doll's House a couple of seasons ago. And Phoebe Gonzalez, I know you'll remember as Fabian in Twelfth Night, and also she was in uh, that wonderful She Stoops to Conquer. So um, we're happy to have welcome her back as the lead in this show. So that's the indoor. And then last but not least, up the hill, you got to be asking, where is the Shakespeare? Now, I want to I want to reiterate, there's 80 percent Shakespeare or 90 percent Shakespeare in an improbable fiction. But as far as a Shakespeare play, I need to say this. When we do Shakespeare plays, it's hard to get a play down below 20 people. So in the pandemic, we needed to have small casts. We really set our sights on what story would benefit, would be more exciting with a smaller cast. And what we came away with is Cymbeline by Shakespeare. And it is an adaptation by our friend Henry Warnitz, who gave us the script and said, hey, do what you like with it. <laughs> Thank you, Henry, our friend and colleague. Um, so Marty Lyons, who we've been hoping to work with for years, is going to be with us this summer directing Cymbeline. And the, it's eight characters, all played by women. It's, it's what, one of those things about the pandemic that when you have a, a challenge, all of a sudden this brilliant thing happens when you have really smart people in the room. So the cast is stellar. It has Melissa Pereira, it has C Sarah Day, it has Colleen Madden, it has Tracy Arnold, it has Elise Dickerson, who you saw as Lady Macduff a couple seasons ago. And three actresses that we have wanted to work with, that we've watched their work for years across the country, are coming this summer to fill out this amazing cast. Elizabeth Leto, Gina Daniels, and Lisa Tejero. We are so thrilled to have all of these women in a room, so please, I hope we've piqued your curiosity and come see Cymbeline with us. So that's it. That's our season. Six plays. We're going to get to do live theater for you. We're so, so excited. So if you have mo any questions or you want to know more, please go to our website and check it out. And the only thing left to say is, <laughs> I'm so happy to say it. We'll see you up the hill very soon. Thanks.